I did my undergrad at Laval in Quebec. Uh, I was in agronomy. And after that, I did my master in plant science at the same university. Mostly, uh, I mostly work on plant pathology. In fact, during my master, I was working on the impact of silicon absorption on resistance to soybean rust that is caused by Facopsora pachyrizi. And uh, after my master, I knew I wanted to do a PhD, but uh, first, I wanted to check if I was not just postponing and working. <laughs> so, uh, and I wanted to do get some work experience. So, so I, I worked at the Uranus Consortium uh, and the Quebec Department of Agriculture on the impact of climate change, climate change on crop pest management. Uh, I also, I have, I have also been an agronomist for a private company in Quebec that is developing biopesticide for three years. And after these uh, work experience, I knew uh, I knew I was sure I was I wanted to do research. So I went back to schools for a PhD, uh, where I where I work on the genetic characterization of uh, Phytophthora sergi, that is causing Phytophthora root rot in a uh, soybean. So, because we have all these different sources of resistance, we see more than two hundred different variants. In uh, the in the soil, and so the main objective of my project was to develop a molecular tool that can identify precisely and quickly the different variants of uh, Phytophthora root rot in the soil, in order to be able to recommend to growers which soybean uh, variety to use. And I think that this research matters because growers and breeders have, have in their hand a solution to fight sustainably Phytophthora root rot, which is uh, resistant varieties, but they need to know how to use it pro properly to ensure that uh, this type of resistance will be efficient for a long time. I think that it's the same thing as for plant breeders, but for plant pathologists, I think to be close to the growers is really important because it's, I mean, I said, I think it's fun to do fundamental research, but like to go out in the field and see what fit of the raw root rot really look like and what growers think about it is like the best way to, uh, to direct your effort when you're doing research. I think to stay connected to the reality in the field is like the top quality of uh, people in research in general. Join now uh, as a postdoc uh, fellow uh, is when winters end and summer is coming, and we are able to go out of the lab and go talk to growers because we have a lot of samplings to do, and we meet with them, and we meet with agronomists, and that's really the part that I enjoy the most, and I think this is what is fun. Uh, working in plant breeding or plant genetics because during the winter you can focus on the lab and during the summer you can go out in the field and really connect with uh, what you really see the the application of what you're doing during the winter and see directly in the field what is the uh, the impact of your work so i think that to stay connected to direct practical application in the field is very motivating to say in English, but I just finished my PhD and now I'm entering my postdoc. And at the same time, uh, I am working on the business. So it's a full, full, full time job <laughs> right now. So I, I have to say that this uh, grant is uh, very motivating for me uh, to continue this wave. And if I have a lot of work to do in the lab, I think it's, uh, I think it's nice as I said in the beginning, before the podcast began, but uh, for me, it's a great reward of uh, the work I did during my PhD.